Next, I'm going to talk about how to install a package. Packages in R are sets of functions that people have written that can be added onto the basic default set of functions that R knows. So, you know, R already knows how to do a histogram and how to take the mean of things, do a run of regression. R knows a lot of things automatically, but a lot of people have written um, sets of extra functionalities um, for a variety of different fields. This is one of the reasons it's nice that R is open source. So here's how you install a package. If you know the name of the package, um, that's especially easy. You have to type install.packages, parentheses, then in quotes, put the name of the package. Remember that R is case sensitive, um, and make sure you're hooked up to the internet. If you do this, you wait a moment, it takes a moment, um, R will look up the package, and if it can find it, it will um, go ahead and download the package. Once you've downloaded the package, that means, or it, that, means that uh, your computer has it, but that doesn't mean that R knows you want to use the package during a particular work session. And the reason that R doesn't assume you want to use every uh, package during every work session is that if you download a lot of different packages, R will start to slow down if it has to remember all the different possible things you might want to do during every work session. So instead, when you want to tell R that you would like to use the functions from a particular package that you've installed, you do library perm. Once you've done that, any of the um, functions that are inside Perm will be available to you. To see what those are, the best thing to do is just Google the documentation file and you'll find it. You'll find the list of functions and the help files for each of them. And once you get used to what functions you're using, if you type question mark followed by um, the name of that function as usual, um, once you've um, brought that package into the workspace, you can access those help files using the question mark directly. Note that once you've installed a package on a particular computer, you never have to do it again. If the package is updated, you know, if some of my packages are a few years old, it can be worth it to install it again, but for the most part, um, you do not need to run install.packages every time, you only need to run the library command every time. If you don't know the name of the package that you're looking for, Google is usually the best place, although there's also a package manager and a package installer that you can explore um, using the menus that may also help you find packages that do particular things you'd like to do. I'm going to end by mentioning just a couple other functions. Here's one that I was asked about. What do you, how do you make a sequence of numbers and a vector? So we talked about, you know, you can make a sequence of consecutive numbers like this, or you can um, specify explicitly what numbers you'd like to have in your vector. But you can also use the sequence function. And this will make a vector containing a sequence of the numbers from this to this by this. And also type question mark seek uh, to see the help page and you can, um, you can see exactly how that works. You have an option to either specify that you want every five numbers, so the numbers from five to 100 every five numbers, or you could specify that you want the numbers from five to 100 and you want there to be 20 of them, for example. You can play with that. And I'm not going to show you this function because I want you to um, figure it out on your own, but Wilcox test is the function that you use to do a rank sum test or a signed rank test. I've put the code here, but not for a particular example. You want to put in as the two arguments the two vectors of numbers and the two groups you're comparing. And if you want the signed rank test, you want to um, tell R uh, that paired should be equal to true. Otherwise, the default for paired is equal to false.